Hello everybody. Today I'm going to teach you how to integrate external drives into your ship. Uh, these include gravity drives and they include this kind of drive which is an attached small engine. Now normally these engines do not fire when you move your when you when you try and control your ship. They just sit there like lumps because they're not integrated into your control system. And that's true of gravity drives as well. The the ship doesn't even understand that a gravity drive is a thing that can exist. But you can integrate them. So here I have integrated these engines and they give me a force uh, roughly equivalent to I think it's uh, three each, nine more heavy starship engines but at a fraction of the size and cost and weight. So you can see that these are firing in tandem and if you look at my speed it's going up quite, quite, quite well. And if I stop thrusting it immediately stops thrusting. And if I turn inertial dampeners off, it'll actually keep going because it's weighted just a little bit wrong and it's catching its own acceleration. Uh, so uh, there are a few uh, bugs in the code, but nothing, nothing that can't be handled. And the basic concept here is that you have to have these fire whenever you're accelerating. Uh, the problem is that engines are mute. Engines will not tell you how much power they're consuming, which way they're facing, if they're firing. They won't tell you anything and it's really obnoxious. Um, if engines did tell you something, anything, then you would be able to do this sort of integrated drive really, really easily. But as it stands, you have to use a little bit of trig. Um, so what I've done is I've got a core, a core box here, and this timer is what the ship monitors as its center. Uh, and it's close to the actual center of the ship. It doesn't have to be on the center of the ship, but if it moves faster, then we know that we are accelerating, and if it moves slower, we know that we're not accelerating or decelerating. Uh, there's also another node, I'm using this front tip here, as the four node, and that gives us the axis of the ship. And if we know the axis of the ship, we can tell how fast we're moving along in a given direction. Now we have to know both how fast the ship is moving in total and how fast we're moving in a given direction, because I don't want it to fire when we tilt. So I have to make sure that uh, if we're just turning, it doesn't fire. And that's what I use to do that. Now this is going to integrate into a gravity drive system for larger carriers, but for small carriers like this, it works great for these small ship engines. And you can see it gives this carrier some serious pep. And please note that the, uh, the actual drives used here, there are only eight gyros. This is not a heavy ship. This is a super, super light ship. Uh, and it doesn't get anywhere near its full power usage. In fact, I'm going to remove one of those generators, and it's still not going to get anywhere near its full power usage. So this is a cool little technique, uh, and obviously the exact specs could be tweaked uh, to make it a little bit more responsive and a little bit less uh, error-prone when we turn off the dampeners. But in short, this is a way to integrate anything you'd like. I'm calling it Sleepnir um, because I've got kind of a Norse thing going on and Sleepnir had too many legs for a horse. He, w he had way too many legs and the idea is of course that you're trying to control too many engines. So uh, I'll be making Sleepnir public once, I've done, once I'm done with this carrier because it's going to be integrated into the carrier and I hope that you'll use it in your own ships.